Okay, so this is um, HF 35C gigahertz solutions RF meter. Um, just going to show you very quickly how it works. Very simple. Um, so it's got the external antenna on it, uh, which makes it, uh, according to the manufacturers, makes it directional. Uh, so we switch it on here, and um, we've got an audio function here at the top. Um, so you can probably hear that. That's giving us the audio. Now we've got a, a cell tower uh, just the other side here, uh, the trees. Uh, which is, I don't know, about 200 feet away, something like that, not far. Um, and I'm going to walk along to it. But just to finish with the meter, so we've got two settings. Um, I'm going to leave it on that. It's, but it's giving us a reading uh, in microwatts per square meter. You can see on here, microwatts per square meter. And uh, there's two settings, there's like a finer grain setting. Um, but yeah, it's... it's both settings are on microwatts per square meter and then on this side here we've got we can either choose uh, to take peak readings or RMS RMS I advise using it on the peak scale um, and and as I say the audio on the top and the readings are shown here at the bottom here we've got some explanation of uh, different kinds of uh, sources of RF signal and what kind of where they are on the uh, frequency range. So we're going to walk, I'm going to put some audio on, I'm going to walk along there. So you can see uh, we've got a varying signal of so two, two, three, four, five um, microwatts per square meter. Say so the, the tower is there and um, you can see as I move around, then there is a variation in the reading. So we're going to, anyway, we're going to walk along here now. In fact, I'll put it on the this reading here, and it gives a little bit more information. Okay, so we're going to walk along, walk nearer. So obviously, there is a certain amount of uh, absorption. We're in the forest here and uh, there's a certain amount of absorption by the environment, a certain amount of reflection, so these, these um, waves are bouncing off the trees and off the ground, off, off, the, off the local environment. And you can see as we're getting closer, then uh, the reading is increasing. Let's turn the noise down a little bit. So we're increasing quite significantly. So we're kind of up in the 20s, 30s now. Microwatts per square meter. get to the corner here you're going to be able to see we're going to be in direct direct line of sight this tower's it's got um, a radar facility on it as well um, now you can see now it's gone a lot higher now turn this, and it's maxed out it's on one so I put it on the other setting which takes us gives us reading up to 2,000 um, microwatts per square meter that's, that's what this is useful for, is when the readings get very high, then you can, uh, you can change the setting. So, you can see we're up in the down, when we started, um, we were down at, uh, well, very low readings, two to four, and here, we're at, I don't know, what are we, um, I guess something like 100 meters away, uh, maybe not even that. Um, so about yeah about 200 feet yeah so before we were probably about 400 feet so about 200 feet something like that um, so I'm just going to move along a little bit and um, what we're going to do is so I've got the sound down very low because it's it, it's uh, quite a, 
a loud noise now and this the meter's given off. But uh, you can see so I'm holding it at the meter, you can see as I change directions, so if I put it vertical, then we get a lower reading because it's directional. It's at this that's what this meter is designed to do is you point it in a you point it in a direction and it tells you what the RF signal is from that direction. And as you can see as I point it, then we're going up to in the three four hundreds. I keep going and point it down and you see it decreases so there'll be bounce off the ground and I bring it back so we can see the maximum signal the maximum reading we're getting is about there and if which as you can see corresponds with where the antennas are on this tower and then if you move it round then we're going right off again to 100 or below 100 it varies and uh, if we bring it back then we got a point here where it got it went even higher but uh, there so it's even higher there so it's uh, yeah, that, that's why it's so important to, to measure because it's these these um, these waves are so unpredictable uh, because they do bounce around um, and if we've maxed out here even even higher which could be I don't know another cell tower over in that direction I guess or bounce from this one um, and that's that's as simple as it is it's a really simple meter to use and you'll see it gives it gives um, some really uh, accurate information um, so switch it off here